Hello, and welcome to Whova. If your event is using Whova's Call for Speakers slash Abstract Management System, and you've been invited to review submissions, here's how to get started. In order to access your personal reviewer portal, you should have received a link from your event organizer. Most likely, this will be through your email associated with the event. If you can't find the email and the link, make sure you check your spam inbox as well. Click the link to open Whova's reviewer portal, where you'll see some event information and review guidelines and instructions. Click Reviewer Sign In to sign into Whova. Sign in with your email to which the invite was sent and click Continue. If you are signing in with an email separate from the one used by the event organizer to send you the link, you will not be able to access the reviewer portal. If you're not sure which email that is, please contact your event organizer for help. If you don't have a Whova account, you'll be prompted to create one. Fill out the details, again using the same email to which the reviewer invite was sent, and finish by clicking Create Account. If you already have a Whova account, enter your password and click Sign In. Once you've entered your account info, you'll receive an email with a verification code to complete sign in. Remember to check your spam inbox if you can't find it. Enter the verification code found in the email and continue to make your way to the reviewer portal. Before starting your reviews, direct yourself to the top of the page where you can click Instructions for Reviewers to view the guidelines set by the event organizers for reviewing submissions. Different event organizers will have different expectations and rules for reviewing, so you should read through the instructions written by the organizers in order to assure the quality of your reviews. At the top left of the page is your deadline to review submissions. Always pay close attention to this date and be sure to do your reviews in a timely manner to ensure a smooth process for everyone. At the center of the portal will be the full list of reviews assigned to you by the event organizer. If you don't currently see any submissions for review, that means you have not yet been assigned any reviews, so you'll need to wait for assignments or communicate with your event organizer about your reviews. To start reviewing a submission, click Review. When you open a submission, you'll see the submission content on the right and your review info on the left. The process is as simple as going through the candidate submission, reading the organizer's rating rubric, and voting accordingly. Note that you may or may not be able to see a submission's candidate information based on if the event organizer has blind reviews enabled. Some events may have multiple criteria for ratings, so make sure to do all of your required ratings. At the bottom of the review form, you can leave comments that will only be visible to the organizer. For example, if you'd like to add more detailed explanations for your ratings, maybe you're between a score of 3 or 4 and you just can't vote for a middle ground, you can express exactly those thoughts in the comment box to give more context behind your ratings. As a reviewer, you're likely thinking about different areas in which a submission could have potentially been improved. For those thoughts, at the end of the review form, you may see a text box for leaving feedback about the submission, which the organizer can choose to share with the candidate if they so desire. Use this section to share that constructive feedback and advice on how the candidate could improve their submission's relevance and or quality. Once you've done all your ratings and left any and all desired comments, you can finish up by clicking Submit Review. Once you have submitted, you'll be able to revisit your review, but you will not be able to make any changes. And with that, You've just finished your first review. Once you've gone back to your reviewer portal's list of submissions, you can repeat these steps to finish the rest of your assigned reviews. Remember that you aren't directly accepting or rejecting submissions yourself. Rather, your reviews will help the event organizer make decisions in the end. As you go through the rest of your assigned reviews, you may find the need to reference a previous submission. Perhaps the review you're working on currently has similar content to one you've reviewed before, or you want to reference old reviews to make sure you're being consistent throughout the process. In that case, you can find a previously reviewed submission and click View. And that's all there is to it. 
Thank you for watching our guide on how to access and review submissions from Whova's reviewer portal. We hope you enjoy your time with Whova. If you have any questions regarding your Call for Speakers submission reviews, please reach out to your event organizer.